Salut guys, c'est Daniel. Today we are going to talk about trim sheets, but more precisely about horizontally and vertically tiling textures grouped together and packed into a bigger one. To be clear, in a 2048 by 2048 texture map, I'd like to pack four 2048 by 512 tiling textures. But let's start simple. I'll try to pack two textures only for now. So I'm going to bring in two nodes made by Algorithmic, doesn't matter which one. This grunge map here, the grunge map 11, and a noise. The black and white spot 2. A blend node, max lighten. Let's connect them. Okay, they are blended. But what we want is for each one of the textures to be rectangular and occupy half of the vertical space of the blend node. So how do we do that? Well, first, we have to set the graph vertical size to half of 2048, so 1024. And now everything is rectangular. So I force the blend node to stay at 2048 by 2048 by cranking up the height by 1 in the output size. The problem is the textures are still blended and all stretched out. And when you hit uh, the spacebar, you see that the rectangular textures style perfectly and have their original aspect ratio. That's interesting. Vertically, it's styling, no problem. So it would be interesting to offset them up and down for the blend node to welcome them properly. There's a node that can do just that. It's called the non-square transform. Okay, we need two of them. Let's plug them into our textures and to the blend node. The first thing to do is to stop them from tiling. So tiling mode, absolute, no tiling. I'm gonna duplicate it and replace the other one by this new one. Now we have squares. But if we set the tile mode to manual, we get our rectangles again. Now, if we offset them, we should get what we want. The black and white spots too, let's uh, offset it vertically on the y-axis, downward. So we need a negative value, minus 0.5. The grunge map, upward, 0.5. We're getting there. The only thing left to do is to take care of the stretching. We need the exact same look as in the original texture, the same rectangle. So I just need to tie the texture vertically to squash it down. But how many times? Let's try some values. Four should work. Now let's compare what we see in the blend node to what we see in the grunge map. To me, it's exactly the same rectangle. We already know that it tiles vertically and horizontally. So we're good. But what if we would like to pack four textures into one instead of two? Well, let's do it. Let's bring in two new noises or patterns. For example, a star and a plasma. I duplicate the two non-square transforms, the blend. OK, so far so good. So all there's left to do is to blend together those two blend nodes. Should be easy. We also need two new non-square transform nodes. First off, our graph is not at the correct size anymore. Packing four textures into one means that for a final result of 2048 by 2048, each of the four textures must be 512 pixels high. The last two non-square transforms 
must have the right settings. But in the first four ones, something must change in them. Once again, let's try the Y axis styling. If the Y value was 4 before, it must be 8 now. So let's do that. And we just have to change the settings accordingly to what we saw before. On each of the non squares and the blend nodes. And now our final blend looks good. Let's compare the rectangles in the blend and in the original ones. We managed to pack 4 2048 by 512 texture maps into a big one of 2048 by 2048. So that's nice. You know that each band tile vertically and horizontally, so it's like a texture atlas. You can use this in a project that can be useful. Now if you want to make something out of this uh, technique, you can produce materials directly in the graph. What we have done here is just to lay out the logic. Then it's time to be creative and use this to your advantage and your needs. Just a note though, if you bring in a material of yours, it won't probably downsize properly. If it's a bit complex, if there are cracks or a tile sampler, yeah, there's a good chance that it won't work. But if your material is simple, it might work. You can also vary the sizes. For example, I have a 1024 texture in the top half and two 512 textures in the bottom half. Let me show you. Okay, I'll stop the video here. If you have critiques, comments, suggestions, you can drop them in the comment section. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.